Well, hey there, and welcome back to Viewpoint Christian Academy, where we've been helping families meet their Christian education goals since 1984. I'm Dr. Adam Rondo. It's time for another Monday moment as we have now eclipsed the 100th day of school. We're about six months in uh, for everybody into our Viewpoint program. We're going to reflect and be inspired and encouraged. Stay tuned. As I said, we are about 100 days in. Can you imagine that? For the past six months, in since you know September, October, November, December, January, almost seven, really. Coming, we're, we're about done with February. All of these months, you have been helping and working and viewpoint with viewpoint to help provide your child with a good quality Bible-based Christian education. And the numbers and everything are just so encouraging. I mean, statistically and the improvement that we have seen in many students and the progress that they are making, it is phenomenal. Well, that's what I'm telling you. But I can imagine that there are a lot of families thinking right now, what did we get ourselves into? Because as with anything, it's tough to stay faithful for a long time. And already we're looking at six, seven months, right? 100 plus days of doing schoolwork at home, online, or in the paces, or in the paper curriculum. And it can be a little discouraging, and it can look a little daunting. But my job today is to try to encourage you. And I want to just bless you by giving you some inspiration, some encouragement, and just a few things to think about. Uh, to not, as Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 says, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap if we faint not. And this is the time when the devil and even the circumstances of life will just try to get you to say, oh, it's time to faint. It's time to quit. It's time to give up. I've had enough of this. I don't want this anymore. I'm ready to be finished and I'm ready to be done. I, I might be preaching to somebody here. Maybe this is exactly what you need to hear right now. Uh, as you contemplate, consider what am I going to do? How am I going to make this work? How am I going to make this finish this off? Well, let me just encourage you. Don't be weary because you are doing a good thing. Don't be weary in well-doing, because as the promise of the scripture is, in due season, in other words, the time is coming when you will be able to step back and reap the benefits and look back and say, wow, I really did do a good thing. This is amazing. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna encourage you, ask yourself a question for a minute. Ask this question. How important is the quality of my child's education to me? Now, I know that's like a redundant question because every parent is going to go, yes, I want my child to have the best. I want my child to have the best possible education that they can have. And that's, that's the whole reason why you even pursued Viewpoint in the beginning, because you, you wanted them to have a good quality Christian option for their education, right? This is, this is a big deal. And, and, and training the next generation as a parent, boy, you, you are sold on that. You are committed to that. You think that that is vital. I know that that's the truth. But sometimes in the middle of life, in the middle of confusion, in the middle of saying, come on, do your math. Come on, let's get this done. Yes, you have to write this. Yes, you have to read this. Oh, I know you are the motive. You are the academic coach at home. I know that. As Viewpoint teachers if in our online program, we can interact. We can help them. And we are. We're helping dozens of kids every day, helping them with their math, helping them uh, in their language and helping them then in grading papers, doing all these. Yeah, we are very busy, but I know that you are the academic coach at home doing the primary labor. You are doing the hardest part. You are providing the main motivation, and that's hard. There's a lot that you have on your shoulders, and we understand that. You have a heavy and important responsibility, the oversight that you have to provide for your children, and the and the, and the time that you have to carve out of your very busy day already just to sit down with them at times, make sure they're doing what they need to do, providing them the accountability that they need, uh, motivating them uh, and providing inspiration and encouragement to them. Yeah, I know you guys have a big job. Uh, I understand it. My wife and I, we have, a, we have four of our own children that we're doing this with. Uh, and, and I know. I know, I know the tears. <laughs> I know the frustration. I know the hair. I mean, look, uh, obviously I've been pulling up. No, I, I, but, but I know that the hair pulling moments and the frustration, you're like, okay, I'm quit. I'm done. I'm ready to be finished. 
But what I want to encourage you today is stick it out. Listen, I don't know if you follow the news and I don't know if you pay any attention to any of that. Maybe you're like, I don't have time. I don't, I, good for you. But if you don't know it already, education in the United States of America overall is a hot mess. It is a hot mess. School districts are now, many districts and other places are saying, teachers, unions, et cetera, throwing out all kinds of crazy ideas. Will they ever go back into the building? Well, that's a good question, right? Well, that, that's, that's yet to be answered. There's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, even in the fall, they're now talking, we don't know if we'll be able to get back in the fall in many areas. Whoa, wait, what's going on here? Everything in education is being flipped around, being turned upside down. There are, there are school districts and, and committees and teachers, they're all talking about things like, you know, it's COVID, we can't fail the students. We just have to pass them along. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is that helping the child? How is that helping them to how is that helping them to get anywhere? Well, number one, it's also the teacher lying. If the child didn't get a passing grade, then they should get they should be saying they should have to do it over again. That's our whole philosophy, right? We ensure masters were going on. But right now, that's a big problem. Uh, you know, uh, the, the idea of racism and, and, uh, and all of these different things and adapting the curriculum and, and, and changing the way that history is presented, all of these things. I mean, there's a, it's a hot mess. It's just, it's, it's insane. It'll blow your mind. But let me tell you something. At Viewpoint Christian Academy, our students are experiencing success. They are mastering their material and moving on and gaining even more. They're not falling behind. Many of them are accelerating ahead. We have students that have already finished a year's worth of work in many of their subjects. Yes, many of our students have been able to excel. Now, maybe you're like, well, that's not my kid. Well, okay, maybe it's not. Maybe your child isn't going quite that fast, but they are progressing forward and learning, aren't they? They are mas they're, they're mastering what they need to master and they're moving on and they're growing and they're gaining. And they're increasing. So look, as we're in this 100th day, as we're in this 100th day, let me just encourage you, okay, that even though it gets tough, and even though you're like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to make this work, and I feel like I've got to do this, and I'm, and I'm constantly being pulled in all these directions, boy, I understand it. And, and to, you know, we're praying for you. I want you to understand that. We're praying for you as parents. We're praying for the students. We're praying for the teachers. Yes, but we're praying for the parents too that God would help you because you have such a heavy responsibility as your child's academic coach, as their main motivator, as their main inspiration. Look, I understand this in my own family and as my, in my experience as an educator working with students day in and day out. The hardest part of education is not the math, it's not the English, it's not the biology and the chemistry. The hardest part of education is the hard work of character building the hard, hard, hard work of character building, of taking that child and helping to shape within that child the image of Christ, helping them to learn, to function and act in society and in life the way that God intended them to do, right? God intended them to be. And when it comes to diligence and hard work and persistence and honesty and faithfulness, all of these character traits that Th that children need to be successful in their academics overall, not only now, but also as they progress on to higher grades and into, into college. That's the hard work of character building that God has called his people to do, especially God has ordained parents to do that. So let me just encourage you, mom and dad, I hope this is an encouragement to you and I hope I don't sound too preachy, but I'm really trying to bless you. I'm really trying to inspire you. There are some good things that are happening in the education of the children at Viewpoint Christian Academy, some excellent, some phenomenal things that are occurring. God is being good. We are, I mean, children are learning from the scriptures. They're learning from the word of God, but they're also growing academically in so many areas. There's such a, so many blessings that are taking place. Let me just encourage you, mom and dad, stay at it. Don't give up. Keep going. Listen, why do we exist? Because we want to help families meet their Christian education goals. So what can we do to help you? Give us a call. Reach out to me. Send me an email. Say, you know, my child's struggling with this. I'm struggling with this. Uh, we, we do these Monday moments because we want to help you. We want to inspire you. We want to encourage you. We want to give you some good really practical ideas. But I just want to inspire and encourage you today and let you know that we're thinking about you. We're praying about you. We see what's happening. We see the struggles. We see the victories. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. But whatever comes your way, 
Don't give up. Stick it out. Stay with it. As we, as we approach into March, we have March, April. Many of our students will be done in May, some into June. We are more than halfway there. We are over that halfway mark. It's all downhill from here, right? Well, it's been downhill for a while. No, I know. I get it. I understand. But listen, no, really, we're getting there. We're close to the end. Hang in there. Hang in there. Keep encouraging. Keep inspiring. Keep being a blessing to your children. And let us know whatever we can do to help you because we want to. We want to be a blessing and an encouragement to you. I hope this has been a blessing to you and an encouragement. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't mind, share it. Send it to a friend. Maybe you know what? Maybe you know a friend who's homeschooling and maybe they need to hear something like this. But you are in a position to help your child to have the very best that they can. Don't give up. Keep in inspiring them. Keep encouraging them. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Have a great week.